Welcome to the comic book shop of doom. I'm your host. If you're under 13, get your parents permission before you watch this video. I keep it clean, but I don't need a $40,000 fine from Copa, YouTube, or our government. We're going to have a podcast review. Guess who has a podcast? He has two episodes up. Rob Liefeld, former founder of Image Comics and Extreme Studios. I listened to the first podcast, and it was about uh, an hour and 20 minutes long. And it's not bad. It's like his history of comics. And um, he already has a second one up, and that's like less. It's like 70 minutes or 60 minutes or something. But how is it? It's not bad, but it's not great either. He goes into, he started collecting comic books when he was um, like seven years old in 1975. And um, he lived in California and he used to ride his bike or skateboard around. And he would cut grass on the weekends for uh, six bucks a lawn for three bucks in front, three in back. And then he would um, go buy comic books for a quarter a piece. And to me, it sounds like he beat his comic books up because he says he used to take them and his parents would take them once a week. They would go to Pizza Hut and they would have pizza there and he'd bring his comic books there. And he says, I try to keep my greasy fingers off of the comics. So even when I was that age, I was taking good care of my comic books. I already started bagging, boarding them. And I know that he's a couple years older than me. He's about seven years older than me. So I was born in 74 and he was seven and 70. So he's about six years older than me. So, um, I mean, there's still, you know, there's a little bit of a difference. I mean, seven years is kind of like a generation, but, uh, he's all over the board. He talks about the justice league movie with the Snyder cut. He's talking about, he's got a snake eyes comic book coming out. Uh, I think it's in the summer by IDW if they're still around. And what else did he talk about? Uh, it's the same old, same old. I mean, you know, I mean, I'd like to get his opinion on different people. So the, this first podcast that he did, it's not great. So I would only watch it if you're a hardcore fan or I'm not even watch it, listen to it. But um, a lot of times when I'm driving around, if I have to drive around for work, I'll put these podcasts on and listen to them in the vehicle and uh, it kills time. So it's, it's nice listening to the traffic and everything, but uh, around the house, it's hard because uh, the thing with the podcasting is it's like everything else. It's it, the market for that's flooded. There's everybody and their mother has one. So how do you make it special anymore? It's really hard, but um it's not bad, but I, I want to see what he has to say about Todd McFarlane and Jim Shooter. And he talks about the fallout when he uh, quit Image Comics before they were going to boot him out. And you know what's going to happen? He took money on one of these GoFundMe campaigns or um, Kickstarter or something for some comic book project that he never delivered on. And it's been years. And the people were calling him on it. So I guarantee you, if he ever has a call-in deal on that podcast, somebody's going to call in there and scream him out about where's my comic book. Everybody have a good night.